Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Professional scoreboard is important for sports live streaming events. Today, I'm going to show you how to customize your scoreboard through using YOLOcast. We primarily use the My Composition feature of YOLOcast to customize the scoreboard. I can find this feature in the overlay lab on the left menu bar. First, let's take a quick look at the options in the overlay lab navigation bar. In the overlay library, you can find nearly a hundred pre-designed overlay templates that cover various overlay types such as scoreboards, countdown timers, and lower thirds. Once you choose a template from the overlay library, you'll need to add it to My Overlay before you can sync it with YOLO Box. My Overlay also serves as your control center for overlays, allowing for basic edits like updating team logos or team names on the scoreboard. Next is My Composition. Here you can create fully custom overlays from scratch or add templates from My Overlay for more in-depth editing. Finally, the third-party GFX feature lets you easily import web URL overlays directly from YOLOcast to YOLObox Ultra. Let's familiarize yourself with the overlay editing interface in my composition. The overlay editing interface is divided into three main sections, the left sidebar, the middle panel, and the right sidebar. The left sidebar contains various essential tools for creating a scoreboard. Each layer represents a single element of the overlay, such as text, shapes, or images. A complete scoreboard can be made up of multiple layers working together. I can use the rectangle tool to create rectangular shapes, forming the foundation of the scoreboard layout. There's also a text tool, which allows me to add static text, like team names and dynamic data, like score updates, to the scoreboard. The image tool is used to upload and insert custom images such as team logos or sponsor graphics. In addition to these basic functions, there are some advanced settings available. For example, I can add a real-time clock or countdown timer to the overlay. The score feature is for tracking scores with a dynamic text field that I can adjust during the live stream. Lastly, I can create a scrolling marquee to display information like sponsor messages or player stats. After selecting any layer, the middle panel allows you to adjust and customize its appearance. In the Transform settings, I can precisely adjust the position of a layer by modifying the X and Y axes under position. For example, if I want to adjust the location of the entire scoreboard, I can select the relevant layer in the left sidebar, then move the X and Y axis in the position settings to place the scoreboard exactly where I want it. If I need to modify a layer's width and height, I can adjust these in the size section, entering exact dimensions for more precise adjustments. Additionally, I can rotate the layer or skew it horizontally or vertically. To enhance the graphics, I can also add shadows to give the layer a more polished look. Lastly, I can add animations to the layer so it enters or exits with effects like fading or sliding. The right sidebar consists of two key sections. First is the preview section, which provides a real-time view of how my overlay will look on the live stream, making it easy to ensure all elements are aligned and visually appealing. The other section is control params. Here I can adjust both static and dynamic parameters, such as the game name, team names, colors, scores, and time. Before going live, I can test and modify all these parameters to ensure everything runs smoothly during the stream without unexpected issues. In the top toolbar, once all parameters are set, I can save all layers here for reuse. It also displays the size of my canvas. Additionally, this feature supports code editing, which means I can adjust layer effects by modifying the code directly. If I haven't prepared a separate cover image for the live stream, I can automatically generate a cover based on the layer design right here. YOLOcast offers scoreboard templates for baseball, American football, soccer, badminton, basketball, curling, volleyball, cricket, rugby, and tennis. If you need a scoreboard template for a different sport, 
or if you have suggestions for improvements to the existing templates, feel free to share them in the comments. To use a template, select it and add it to My Overlay. Once added, it will appear in the My Overlay section. Note that do not click on the open panel here. Instead, hover over the three-dot icon in the top right corner of the graphic and select Extract to Composition. Next, go to My Composition in the right sidebar, hover over the added graphic and click Edit. This will bring us into the custom scoreboard editing panel I introduced earlier. If YOLOcast doesn't offer a template you like, you can simply click Add New Composition in My Composition. This allows you to create an entirely new project where you can design the scoreboard graphic you want. First, I need to create a new layer set. Each scoreboard template typically already has one layer set and I can add and modify layers based on that layer set. The steps to create a new layer set are straightforward. Just click on the icon here. If you want to delete or copy a layer set, simply hover your mouse over that layer set and right-click to see the options. You can also click and hold on to a layer set to drag it above or below other layer sets, changing the stacking order of each layer set. If I need to hide one of them, simply click the eye icon next to the objective. Please note that the same stacking logic applies to every layer. By dragging them to different positions, you can change the stacking order of each layer. Right-clicking on them allows you to delete or copy those layers. First, to make the creation process easier, we need to create a light-colored background. Simply click on the rectangle tool in the top left corner to create a rectangle, then adjust the size of the rectangle. The parameters don't have to be too precise, it just needs to cover the entire preview area. Now, I need to create a scoreboard like this one. We'll break the scoreboard down into nine components. Excluding the two national flags, the other seven components consist of a rectangle and a text layer. So I need to create seven of these combinations and insert images of the two national flags. Click the Rectangle tool to create a rectangle, then adjust the size and color of the rectangle. Next, click the Text tool in the upper right corner, input your text, and adjust the relevant parameters. Now that all static parameters are set, I want to add some dynamic effects such as entrance and exit animations for the scoreboard graphic. Switch to the animation control area, select rotate, and you can modify the direction of the graphics animation, the starting point, speed, and choose the motion curve. This completes one component, and I can now copy this component six times, which will be much easier. Let's talk about creating dynamic text for scores and time. 
there are two methods to add dynamic score text. One way is to click on the senior option in the upper right corner where I can directly add score and time. And if needed, I can also add a marquee. After adding the score, let's look at its components. The score displays the points for two teams and visually shows the final score for each match. The second method is to add animation effects to your text. First, go to the text control area and after editing the content, click the small icon on the left side of the editing area, rename it to score, and click add to include it in control params. Then, in the lower right corner, a new control unit corresponding to this text will pop up. Click the gear icon next to content, change the type to number, modify the maximum score value, and enable immediate update. This way, you can obtain dynamic text that allows score changes to be controlled from the background. It's important to note that if I want to add a shadow to the scoreboard, I just need to adjust the size of the bottom rectangle layer so that it acts as the background for all other layers, then add a shadow in the transform control area and adjust the relevant parameters. I can also add a border to this layer like this. Last, we need to add graphics for the two flags. Click on the image insertion option in the upper right corner, upload the prepared graphics, and then adjust the size parameters to fit the graphics into the scoreboard. Many of the parameter settings come with a preview feature, allowing you to preview dynamic effects using the play and reset buttons. Once you finish your design, don't forget to click Save in the upper right corner to save your graphic. If you want to add this graphic to YOLO box, go to My Composition to find the design graphic, then hover over the ellipsis icon in the upper right corner of the graphic, and click New to My Overlays to complete the process. Then I can see this graphic in my YOLO box. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactiyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 133 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 133058 Thank you for watching this video.